Welcome to the ASM Manager. This software is designed to ease the process of updating your Hydrosynth and managing your patch libraries. Functions included with the ASM Manager include being able to sort and organize banks with new convenient views, organizational tools such as renaming functions as well as exporting lists of your patches inside of a bank, importing and exporting banks for easy transport between devices, and the ability to back up and restore your Hydrosynth. First, let's start with connecting to the ASM Manager. Begin by connecting your Hydrosynth to any standard USB 2.0 compatible port on your computer. Be sure not to have any other MIDI-capable applications open during the operation of the ASM Manager. Once you have the software open, you can begin connecting your Hydrosynth to the ASM Manager via the drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Select your Hydrosynth, and once you have your device selected, you'll see your Hydrosynth model depicted as an icon to indicate which model of the hardware you're connected to. So I'm connecting to a Hydrosynth Deluxe here, and you can see the Hydrosynth Deluxe in this little window. Next to that icon, you're going to see the single multi-mode toggle selector. This allows us to jump between single engine banks and multi-engine banks for a Hydrosynth Deluxe. This is only available on the Hydrosynth Deluxe. Below the Hydrosynth icon, you'll find your patch management area. This area allows you to select the device and bank you're organizing. There's two separate windows and they can be set to whichever device you prefer. Be it the Hydrosynth on the left and the computer on the right, computer on the left and Hydrosynth on the right, Hydrosynth in both windows, or computer in both windows. Generally, you want to transfer back and forth from Hydrosynth to the computer. However, Hydrosynth to Hydrosynth is useful when rearranging a bank or banks on your Hydrosynth with existing content stored in the Hydrosynth hardware. Transferring with two computer windows is useful for fast editing and creation of banks on your computer for later transfer to your Hydrosynth. The fastest transfer rate is held via computer to computer followed by Hydrosynth to computer. The slowest transfer rate would be Hydrosynth to Hydrosynth as each time a patch is moved on the Hydrosynth, you're writing to the memory chip on the Hydrosynth. Because of this, it's recommended to manage your patch banks on the computer before moving them to the Hydrosynth for the most efficient workflow. So let's select the device that we'd like to edit for each window using the computer or Hydrosynth icons next to the file locator dropdown. Here, I'm gonna select the Hydrosynth on the left window and my computer on the right. Notice that when I have a factory bank up here, these tiles are all gonna be highlighted in white. And what that means is that I can't edit these patches. But if I drag them into another bank, I'll be able to edit their names from there. This just prevents us from harming the factory content that's already included in your ASM manager. A new addition to our management software is the ability to view your banks in a list view. List view is only available when organizing a bank on the computer and is not available when the Hydrosynth hardware is selected. This gains the advantage of an easy organization of your patches by patch name, category, and color. Let's go to a non-factory bank here so I can demonstrate how this works. If I select list view, you can now see that our patches are organized by patch number here, and we can change to patch name, and this is all alphabetical. We can change to category, and we can change by color. We can even edit our patches here and assign a new color or assign a new name by double clicking here or using the rename function. Or we can change our category with this drop down. Very easy. Now, if we're arranging our patches using these columns here, an important aspect of this is if you like, you can print this order to your bank so it always appears this way. Now, if you do this, you click apply order, but understand that when you click this, it cannot be undone. It's printing the order to your bank and saving it that way. Hydrosynth is a sound designer's dream synth. So let's start with creating a blank bank of patches to work from. First, I'm gonna click the create single bank icon at the top. This is gonna open up a dialog box where I can name my bank. And save it. Now, once I've saved that bank, I want to click the refresh button so that it updates the information inside of my ASM manager. 
I can now navigate to this. And here's our blank bank. So now we're ready to begin organizing our bank. The first thing I want to do here is just for my own happiness, I'm going to put the bank on my left side here. And I have it on the left and it's on the right. But on the right here, I'm going to select packs and I'm going to go to some of the factory content. There's some great patches in the factory library and I want to arrange kind of my own special bank. So what I'm going to do is I'll grab, let's say, VHS Dreams. You'll notice that it highlights orange. That means it's selected and it's ready to be moved. So I can then just drag it over and drop it on to where I like. Another thing that I can do here is, let's say I want this patch right here. I can hit the copy button, come over here, select the tile that I want it to be in, and click paste. I can also copy over multiple patches at once. Let's hold down command on my keyboard, control if you're on a PC, and I can select multiple patches. Now I have these patches selected. I can just drag them over and drop them in place. All right, so now I have these patches on this uh, left side here, which is my video bank. And if I want to rearrange these, it's really easy. I can just drag them and drop them. And you'll notice that it's not overwriting the patch. It's just swapping their placement. Very easy. Another function that I can use here is the cut function. Let's say I only want five patches in here. I can highlight these patches using the shift function is how I highlight from start to finish or command you can do non-sequentially. I'm going to go ahead and click cut. Now when I click cut, it's going to delete these patches from the computer. This doesn't work on the hardware. This only works on your computer banks. Uh, but what it'll also allow me to do is when you use the cut function, it copies those patches into the buffer. So I can then click paste and they come right back. Or I can highlight these and I can click delete, in which case it will not copy them into the buffer and they're just gone. Now let's say we want to utilize a bank that's not already inside of the ASM Manager software. This is handled with the import function. First, we're going to download a bank from the ashensoundmachines.com download section. So let's first navigate to the download section. We're going to click this. And once we have the download section, we can go to our patch banks. And let's grab this Sounds by Chimmy bank. I'm going to click this and it downloads it right into my browser. Once I have it downloaded, I can navigate to it. I can unzip it. And there we are. We're ready to import this bank. Press the import button and navigate to the Hydrosynth bank file. The file type is a .hydra. We're gonna click open. And now the bank is imported. But what we wanna do is we wanna hit refresh so that the ASM manager has the most up-to-date information. I can now navigate to that bank. Here it is right here. And there we are. We have our bank imported to the ASM manager. With this bank downloaded, I can now add a few of these patches into this bank. So let's just grab a couple of these. Again, Shift. Once I click on a patch, I can click Shift and then I can just sequentially add all of these right on in. Another nice function that we can do, let's go to the Hydrosynth for a second here. If I go to bank G, this is where I'm going to be placing my video bank. You'll notice that I have all these init patches in here. That means that there is information on these slots, but it's just an init patch. But what if I want to use this init as a template for the rest of my bank? I want the rest of this bank to be filled up with information. See, right now, these tiles are all completely blank. So if I drag and drop these over, I'm just going to select them, drag and drop right into my Hydrosynth. They're transferring this bank over to the Hydrosynth. But what you'll notice is, even if I use Command A to highlight all of my patches and I drag it over, it's going to overwrite the bank, but from 13 on, there's no information, so it's not going to overwrite any of these patches here. But let's say 
I want this to be a template for later patches. I can then just copy it, Command C, and I can select multiple patches here, and I can click Command V or Control V if you're on a PC, or I can use the paste function. Let's do let's do a few more. Paste, and now I've put the same patch on multiple slots here, multiple tiles. And this allows me to use this as a template because maybe I saved this patch a little bit different from how just a factory init setting is. Maybe I want a certain filter on every patch. I can do that. Now, if I want to adjust these init patches so that they better reflect what I've done with them, I can easily rename a patch. Now, I can either double click here on the patch itself or I can click the rename button. And when I do that, a dialogue comes up here where I can just simply rename the patch. Maybe I want to add my initials to the end so that each patch is already created with my initials at the end. And then again, I can hit Command C and then I can highlight all of these at once. And then I can just paste. And now they all have my initials at the end so it's easy for me to sound design and name my patch and have my initials at the end so I know which ones I did. Now if I'm using a Hydrosynth Deluxe and I'm working with a multi-patch, I can do the same thing here. Let's double click on this and here's the rename patch uh, dialog box and this allows us to not only rename the patch itself but also the individual elements of the patch, the upper part and the lower part. And what's nice about this is I can use the name parts with multi names. So let's say I wanted to have this be uh, I'm going to steal uh, Sun God Ra's patch here and say that it's mine, okay? Now, if I did this, I can then click this button here, and you'll see that it's named both the upper and the lower the same thing, but it has a U and an L at the end to designate which one is the upper patch and which one is the lower patch, and then I can just save that. Another important aspect of renaming or altering a patch is when you're on the Hydrosynth itself, if I change a patch name in the Hydrosynth, for instance, I'm going to go to my Hydrosynth here, and what I'm going to do is just that first patch, I'm going to save the name uh, VHS Dreams MP, and then I'm going to add a 1 at the end and hit save. Now, I've done this on my hardware, but you don't see it in the software. This is where the refresh button comes in handy, and I'm just going to click refresh now, and you're going to see there's that one that I was just talking about. So if I double click on this, you can see the name. Here's the one. Let's bring that back to normal. Hit OK, and I've saved it. So the refresh, again, it just updates all the information in the app so that you have the most current information available. Using the find dialog, I can quickly find a patch. Maybe I don't know the full name of the patch, but I just remember it had something to do with um, log. So let's type log in here and I can hit enter and there it is. There's my patch. So it's very easy to quickly find your patches. Now it's going to find patches inside the bank that you're actually operating in. It's not going to search across all of your banks. So just keep that in mind. Also, the find function only works for the computer. It does not work on the Hydrosynth hardware. So if you click this dialog box, don't expect it to do anything. Another useful feature added to the ASM Manager is the ability to arrange your favorite patches on the Hydrosynth hardware. To do this, in the Hydrosynth arrangement window, scroll to the bottom of the bank locator list and select favorites. Keep in mind that favorites are referencing the patch location of your Hydrosynth patches on your hardware. If you alter a bank on the Hydrosynth that contains one of your favorites, you may need to rearrange your favorites list and you should refresh the ASM manager. As favorites are referencing to other patch locations, you cannot cut, delete, copy, or paste patches inside of the favorites list. You can also not drag patches from other banks into your favorites list. If adding a favorite using the hardware, remember you must exit the favorite list on your hardware and then click the refresh button on the ASM manager to update your favorites list. You can use the search function while in the favorites list. Let's look for KFP. Search and there's those patches. And then if I want to get rid of this, I can of course delete this out 
hit reset, and I'm back to my favorites list. This is useful for quick location and arrangement of your patches. You can use favorites window to quickly rearrange your patches by dragging and dropping them to the chosen location. Notice that when you have a green line, you're inserting in between the two patches. So now I've inserted in between here. Or if I drag directly on top of another patch, you're going to notice this red outline and it's going to swap the location of these two patches. This just makes it very easy to rearrange a set list before a show. Super useful. Using the backup button allows you to save a snapshot of your entire hydrosynth as it is, including the favorites and the microtuning scales. This is very useful for creating a copy of your hydrosynth that you can keep on file for later use. Excellent for when you're traveling and you may need to use a hydrosynth provided by a backline or a friend's hydrosynth. Simply click the backup unit button. This will bring up a dialog box where you can name and save your backup. Once you click save, it's going to then download all of the patches and information from your hydrosynth. This may take a while. Once the backup is complete, you can also use the restore unit button. To do this, simply click the restore unit button and then select your backup and then click open. Now, once you do this, this is going to overwrite all the patches on your hydrosynth. So be absolutely sure that this is what you want to do before you do it. So be sure to save any of your patches into a bank file on your computer before you restore your hydrosynth. Again, all patches will be overwritten. In addition to the ability to back up your hydrosynth patch memory banks, you can also use the export list function, which will save an exported document detailing the patch number, patch name, category, and color of the patch. Simply, Click the export list, select your bank, and then click open. It's going to then ask you where you would like to save it to. And I'll click open on my desktop. And the export is successful. Let's take a look at what the file appears like. So here we can see that it exports an Excel file with our patch number, the patch name, the category, and the color of our patch. This makes it easy for us to keep track of all of the patches in our banks. And if you are using it for a set list or anything else, it's just useful to stay organized. As you can see, the ASM Manager provides an easy to use patch management software. And we hope that this aids you in your explorations of the Hydrosynth. We encourage you to explore the many patch banks available for the Hydrosynth and to share your sounds with the world. We look forward to hearing from you.